My age dyed vintage wool bundles are now live on my website. It's oldpennyrugs.com. And uh, they are in bundles of nine. There are nine pieces, various sizes. I use the blankets and I just uh, cut them whatever size the blankets is. I cut two equal parts. Um, it was difficult to measure it as to yardage, but it's, uh, I think, a little bit less than three quarters of a yard. More than half a yard, a bit less than three quarters. And please remember, this is not new wool. These are all old vintage blankets. They were actually the baby pink and the light green and the light blue ones. And I had some yellow and um, what other color did I have? A, a, a nice blue I had. So these are old blankets. They were very light colors. I dye them my special way that I dye. Uh, they're mottled. No two pieces are exactly alike. Uh, the shades are alike, somewhat. They do vary. But in your bundle, there will be nine pieces. The reason for nine pieces is because I need to keep it under a pound uh, for shipping. I ship with chit chats. Um, let's say I have a bundle that's 15.9 uh, and it will go for, um, depending on where you live in the States, it would go anywhere between around $10. But if I put one more piece of fabric on and that goes 1.1 pound, let's say for example, it's automatically an extra $5 on it because of that one piece of wool. So I have to keep it under a pound. I also want you to know that uh, shipping's shipping is included in the price and I pretty much round shipping off to eight dollars it's always more but that's okay I'll pay the rest I feel as though I want it um, reasonable because I live in Canada and I know it's so expensive and um, I do ship with chit chats it's USPS that I use and uh, also uh, I only ship once every so often so there again it may take a while for it to get to you because in order to ship with chit chats and have those good prices and most especially to have USPS I need to drive 200 miles in order to drop the packages off so I'm going to go through these um, these are just three bundles that um, I picked at random to show you the colors. Even though this isn't modeled that much, um, it's still going to be very nice. I'm calling this the um, candle mat bundles because this is perfect for a hit and miss type rug and I'll show you those in a minute. <clears throat> two sides are different, which means your two pennies will have a different color. And one penny will be dark on one side and light on the other. And actually, um, because these are so unique and to themselves in each bundle, you're going to feel just like I do when I take my wool out of the dryer. It's just like Christmas. You never know what you get. So remember me when you open your package and you look through your wool. And all the shades work together because they were all dyed together. I put all the colors, different colors, in one dye pot. And some of them are, um, that's a tweedy one. <clears throat> some of them are thin. There are a few thick pieces, which I'll show you as you go through. Those reds are beautiful. 
And just keep in mind that you may not get this exact package. These are three packages that I just pulled to show you examples. But you will have all of the different shades that I'm showing you in your bundle. Oh, I better do that. Keep them separate. This is a really nice one too. It's very thin. And you do have you do have thick and thins. This is that pink again, but it's dyed differently. <clears throat> Another of the reds. <clears throat> this is the same uh, blanket, but it's a different color uh, of the red. This is the <clears throat> thick wool. It's really not that thick, but it's hairy. Can you see it? And that's perfect for the bottom pennies. Beautiful for that. <clears throat> There's another nice piece. And the, of course, these pieces could be used for wool applique. The reds, um, oh, I'll show you when you get when we get through to the reds. But that. This is the exact same piece as that. It's just dyed in a different shade. Isn't that pretty? Now, <clears throat> how much wool, how many pennies can you get from your nine pieces of wool? Well, I sort of roughed it out. And <clears throat> when I show you the um, pictures of the candle mats, um, I'll tell you the amounts. If you're using a three quarter inch penny, one piece like that would give you 150 pennies. There is a lot of pennies and a lot of candle mats or whatever you choose. If you're using one and a half inch, one piece, just like this, will give you 54 pennies. If you're using one inch, and this doesn't fit really good, this um, small piece is 88 pennies, so you'd have a bit more. And remember, the sizes are not exact on these. They're all different. Some are longer, some are smaller. <clears throat> if you're using this for applique, I actually just thought of this this morning, wouldn't this be wonderful for flowers? to cut flowers for applique. That would be beautiful because it's shaded and of course you have both sides. You'd have different color flowers. Those are dark. Oh, I have to keep those in order. And this is another bundle that I'm going through. <clears throat> they are so beautiful. I just love dyeing wool. This again would be wonderful for flowers. Very, very primitive, old looking flowers. And there again, you have different, you could just put your things wherever you would choose on that. Now the greens, this is a green, green for leaves. If you're doing applique and you don't want to do the um, candle mats or larger penny rugs or whatever. <clears throat> There's another nice piece. This is a nice olive brown color. And just remember when you're doing pennies, your pennies are going to, depending on where you cut your pennies, they're going to be shaded. But once you put them in a mat, they're going to look so nice because they're not that perfect one color and it, it, they just blend together. And that's the beauty of my wool and the way I dye it. And I've always used old blanket wool for my pennies, always. I actually use old blanket wool for everything, but most especially for pennies, the thick and the thin. So those are three bundles, just an example. Someone will get those, of course, but not every bundle is the same. It has the same shades in it, but not the same modeled pieces. Now I want to go over why I call this 
a hit and miss rug. Um, I had given you some samples on moths. By the way, if you're not on moths, moths is Moths of the Wolf Circle Club on Facebook. It's my group. And just send me a message. Find it with a search. Send me a message. Tell me that you watched the video and you'd like to join the, the group. So uh, these are different examples that I had. Now, compared to how many pennies you can get out of that, that wool, you've seen how many you can get out of just one strip. This is quite a large rug, and that takes 116 pennies, both two, uh, one and a half, and I think that's a um, one and a quarter, I believe. Um, this one's 74 for the, for the entire rug, and do remember that um, the wool is all these different shades. And this is what a hit and miss is. Same as that. And you can also vary the size of your pennies. That's a smaller penny in there, smaller penny in there, a one inch. <clears throat> I hope I can see this. This one only takes 32 pennies. It has a cotton base and a little, what I call a handkerchief edge of cotton binding. But you only need 32 pennies, and you can see the size. That's my clock, my books. 32 pennies out of your bundle. You won't hardly even miss the wool for that. This one uh, is a triangle, takes 56 pennies, and there again, you have some bright colors in there, but that's your pink. The, pen, the wool in this, well, let's put this here. See, that would be your pink. So it would be a lot um, more drab and primitive looking from this bundle. <clears throat> These are my rugs that I had done for so long ago. Uh, this one, 46 pennies for that one. 38 pennies for that one. Everyone seemed to like that one. What I suggest you do is when you're on moths, um, download the photos to your phone. Uh, if you're using your phone and then do the you know thing with your fingers and really look at the stitches and the colors and everything there again you've got some pinks now the pinks in this would be much more primitive than this 88 pennies to make that rug this was a set of three that I had done the large one takes 70 pennies that's both both pennies uh, your large size and your top penny. This one takes 50, this one takes 38. <clears throat> now there, there aren't any, uh, this one takes 58, and you can tell by the box, the size. Um, there aren't any uh, plaids, this has plaids in it, but this one actually, I believe, was done on burlap. I believe it was burlap. There's another one, and you have the the little uh, old-fashioned quilt knots in it. That only takes 38. So um, compared to what I showed you with uh, how many you get from one piece, um, I don't know how to estimate it. I mean, I, I estimate that if you're doing if you're cutting your whole bundle in one and a half inch pennies you would get close to 500 maybe. All of, all of your bundle in one inch, you get close to 800. Three quarter inch, which is a small size like this, you're going to get over a thousand pennies out of that bundle. But the point I wanted to make is these do not take 500 uh, high amounts, you know? You can make a lot of these little mats in this, and you could also make a large mat. If you're so inclined, you can make a large mat. Now, I wanted to go over something else because I do like to have um, a bit of teaching. This was, how does it look on there? Good. This was my very first mat 
that I made. My very, very first one, I had never stitched a rug or mat or blanket stitch or anything before this. And you notice I started to tie them, some I don't. Never finished it. I think I will do that sometime <coughs> on my bucket list. But this takes two inch and one and a half inch. In order to use anything more than one and a half inch, you need a large rug to have a pattern. And absolutely you can do that with this one. But in smaller rugs, in smaller candle mats, you need your small penny to make a design because they're small. These are little mug, mug cups. They're little um, that you set your mug on. And do remember that the thread and the stitch is very important and you'll notice it on these. You'll notice some of them have a different stitch. This one, for instance, has a different stitch. It just makes the look of the rug, I think. Although, don't ask me what the stitch is because I, I have no idea. I did it, but I don't remember what stitch I used. It looks like a feather stitch, I'm thinking. This one too, uh, when you go like this with it, you'll notice this has a different type of stitching. And I used dark thread there. I used a lighter thread there. That's my string that I used on that one. The same with this one. This is a bit different type of stitch. So your thread and your stitching does matter. Now, this one in particular, we've gone over the, uh, the bindings and the open edge penny and all of that. This one is sort of unique because what I did was I put my crochet hook through the, the base of the wool and I did um, crochet stitches around it just for something different. So I think I've gone over everything. Um, as I say, they're listed now and they are, of course, as always, very, very limited quantities. Um, so, and postage is included and um, I think that's everything. And so, um, Thank you very much, everyone. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. And I'm just patiently waiting for a big storm to arrive. So happy stitching, everyone.